Nitro systems all out, man. Check it out. I'm gonna go over this and hopefully help you guys build up a custom nitro system. All right, guys, man, welcome back to another episode here with Diablito Speeds. Merit, by the way, and for those of you who are new, thank you for, for tuning in, guys. I really do appreciate it. I wanted to bring you guys, I guess, an update about what's going on. Well, here's the update with the Mustang. <laughs> She's looking pretty, pretty empty. Fuel cells gone, all my nitrous lines gone, air intake's gone. Uh, looks a lot cleaner, right? Uh, but, of course, in anticipation for my turbo that I hopefully get very, very soon. Uh, Ah uh, yeah, so let's. I guess I don't really want to go into that right now. That's gonna just make prolong everything. So what I did want to do is get in right into my nitro system here. Uh, the reason being is because people have asked me uh, about my nitro system and how it works and how do they would they go about using it. Uh, you guys know the basics, right? Buy yourself a nitrous kit uh, with preferably a wet shot it's pretty legit here's the coyote plate fits a 80 millimeter a coyote uh, throttle body uh window switches go ahead and get yourself some window switches that's pretty much the only way i run nitrous i know some guys that use the the traditional uh push the button right and it works great but uh you know if you want to dial in down in uh i guess you know give more series into it window switch works great for that uh bottle heater works great you don't gotta use a torch all the time and a fuel cell independent uh standalone fuel system over there that works perfectly with the nitro system every time i spray it will spray some fuel and it'll bring it in together what i wanted to come with you guys in this video i don't want to make a super long video but i wanted to go over basically not only buying the parts you need obviously that's you guys know that it's the wiring and everything that goes along with that wiring so i'm gonna go over my purge harness because once you guys get that you guys basically will be able to get everything else basically this system that i have here i made my own little harness for each system for, for, for example this is the purge right right there the nitrous and fuel solenoid are controlled by the window switch over there and that maximizer there the progressor is actually a, a fuse within itself it's a relay okay uh the bottle heater it's got his own wiring harness and relay fuel cell it's got his own wiring harness and relay okay this is the wires that went from my power to my switch which is here that control that told when to turn the nitrous on when to turn it off and all that okay i'm not going to try to get too deep into everything i'm going to focus on one harness you get this one idea here you'll get the rest of how to wire everything else so after i got the parts right you get the parts you got the nitrous okay what do i do how do i wire it? so i did my research i reached out to people and basically we came down to the safest way to run nitrous in my opinion is have a relay and have inline fuses and everything okay so how it works quick i'll try to explain it as easy as possible you need to get say for example we're running the purge because this is the purge wiring harness you got to get power to that to that solenoid there right okay so this is it here this goes right to my power distribution block here this is gets power straight from the power box runs through this wire through this inline fuse powers the relay anything goes wrong with that system fuse pops here and guess what it doesn't ruin everything else pops right here is a short boom pops right here. you go and find out what's going on simple simple thing but so effective run an inline fuse on your systems okay that runs powers the relay now with that relay being on now my switch is on so you tell the purge to turn on right so this wire here this long one is what went all the way into my cab to tell the relay or tell the purge when to fire so this one's right to my switch so every time i press that purge button here which is here i press 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 
which was connected to this wire here, went right to the relay. Relay was told to work. It already has power, right? Because we're getting power. Now, of course, whatever's getting power needs to get ground. My ground is right here. No, actually, that went to the solar. I'm sorry. This one here. It's the other yellow one. And I'm sorry for all the confusion here. Sorry for all the confusion here. I've had to move this system so much, so I had to add wire and all that. Okay, so we're at... This is the ground. This is what grounds the relay. <laughs> Throw that there. So we have our power. And it looks a lot cleaner <laughs> when it's in there. But we have our power, right? And we have ground to the relay. <laughs> okay? This one went to the switch to tell it when to work. This is it right here. It went right to the switch. Once it pushed that, now it tells the solenoid. This went right into the solenoid to tell it to, to work, to tell it to purge, which is right here, okay? These are, everything of course is all tangled up, but once you're in there, it goes in there, right? This is my purge. That end there that I just grabbed here, went into here, okay? That was the power. Obviously everything needs to be grounded. The solenoid itself was grounded. I had another wire here running through my ground and going to ground. Okay, so that's basically the gist of that. Every one of my systems on here, whether it's the fuel and nitrous, whether it's the fuel cell, whether it's the uh, bottle heater, is running a system like this. Got power, inline fuse, power of the relay, grounds the relay. This one here, this, uh, this one here powers, goes power to the switch. And then you obviously get, get power straight to the, to the solar line. To the purge okay now on this end here it's another within itself now i'm getting power now i need to ground this switch which is right here and then you ground it to some ground point wherever you want so that is kind of like a quick 101 of i guess creating your nitrous system uh run safety measures man uh inline fuses your relays run it do the extra work uh, I was able to run nitrous for two whole years and I never had problems with my wiring, man. I never had problems. I know this can look confusing. It's all over the place, right? Don't get discouraged. If you guys need help, message me, man. I'm willing to help you guys out. Uh, once it's all said and done, it's super clean. It's really easy. But now you have, you know, you got fail safe. Something goes wrong with the system, boom, pops the fuse. All right, go check it. What's going on? Why is it popping it? So you'll find it, you'll see it. There's a short or this got disconnected or this happened or a relay went out. And then you just replace it. And the relays are inexpensive. But I think I bought a pack of them on eBay for 10, 20 bucks. They're inexpensive and they last. I think I only had to replace one relay the whole time I had the system. And that was the purge one because where I originally said it was getting too much moisture and it got into the relay. But other than that, they're cheap and they're priceless in my opinion uh run your relays man run your inline fuses run your switches <laughs> that is how i was able to build this little nitro system here that's how i was able to last so long in it effectively and safely every time i press that nitro switch on and i hit my parameters through the window switch i knew that it was going to fire nitrous and if it wasn't that then i'll go in and figure out the problem but i just wanted to bring this video to you guys let you guys know if you guys are into nitrous or you want to get into nitrous, man, hopefully this helps you out. Reach out to me. I know a lot of guys reach, uh, helped me out building my whole little harness, wiring harness here with my Mustang. And I'm willing to help you guys out, man. But other than that, that's it. Stay tuned. Mustang is going to get a turbo as quickly as I possibly can. And I'm going to get this sucker back and running, man. So thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And I'll catch you guys next time.